Okay, so in today's video, we're going down to DC2. And yes, you heard that right. DC2 is our new facility along with DC3, where they're going to be doing composites and fabrication. Along with our current facility, DC1, which is going to be for precision engineering now. Now, whilst they move the five axis gantry mill into DC2, I'll show you around and give you an insight into how we plan on structuring the new facilities. Okay, so this is DC2. This is where everything composite will be happening. Everything from layup, infusion, tooling, the whole works happening here. And this is the first step towards infusion and a full scale fuselage. Mark has been busy the last couple of days drawing up the floor plans for the two new facilities so that he's happy with where everything is going, as well as sorting out infrastructure for the various machines going in. And this is DC3. This is where basically the vast majority of the engine will be made. We have the combustor cans that will be coming out of here from the forming techniques that we develop, as well as the casting and the rest of the fabrication and welding that goes into making the GT50 engine. Now, despite this being composite, you still need high precision because at the end of the day, we want the final tooling and the final actual uh, infusion to match the finite analysis and the modeling that Tim's been doing over the last couple of months as accurately as possible.
This is a resin infusion machine, and what it does is it holds the resin in one chamber and hardener in the other, and mixes it as it's being infused into the fuselage mold and the carbon fiber. Now, this machine is going to be used to create all of the structural uh, fuselages that go into testing, all of the fuselages that go into the prototypes, and a rather big step is it will be used to make the fuselages for the final product. Now, the next step from here is to create patterns on the five axis gantry mill and then start transferring what we've learned on the one third scale model into full scale. So, if you want to see all of that, then be sure to like and subscribe and until next time.